Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about pharmacology and how to succeed in pharmacology. So I took pharmacology this past semester and I received an A in it. So I will show you guys what I do to prepare for lecture and how to study for exams and just overall how to set myself up for success for the class since it's, you guys may know that it's one of the hardest um, courses that you will take in nursing school especially because it's very um sciencey very dense material and it's just a lot of memorization and just a disclaimer the tips and tricks that i will be showing you guys might seem a little extra but um honestly that's how i learn i feel like i'm the type of learner that needs a bunch of different things i need everything to be visually pleasing and I need to write and rewrite. I need to be able to test myself to make sure that I know the material. So if you guys are this type of learner or maybe just from this video you guys can get some ideas on how to study, then just keep watching. Thumbs up this video if you guys like this type of content so I know I can make more videos for you guys. Alright, so I am going to do a screen record so hopefully this works. Okay, so let me show you guys my pharmacology folder and how I organize it. I organize it by exam number, so exam number one, two, and three, and then my HESI notes, because we take a HESI at the end of the, the course. Um, then all farm notes merge, so all, the, all my notes from the entire course in one document. Um, we don't have a final exam that's cumulative, but the HESI exam is basically that it tests you on everything you learn and maybe things that you've never learned or ever heard of so it's easier to have everything in one document in my opinion I'll show you guys real quick see you can it's I can highlight stuff and it's just all in one document and then like I can search things up pretty fast if I just wanted a quick look up so to search, you would do Command F, and then say I wanted to look up, I don't know, Banco, Banco Myosin, Banco Myosin, where, and then you just, yeah, let's do another one, um, Cipro. So it's just easier to look things up. Like if you're like studying and you got a question wrong, you want to look back on the material and. This is what I do. It's quick. All right, and then our course schedule. So what what chapters will be covered on what day, what lecture, and then I have three textbook sources, uh, resources, and then my syllabus. All right, so let's go to exam three. So my professor he posted up slides prior before the class. So what I do is I go on the slides. And then I personally like a Word document, a one running Word document of the lecture because I personally can't read off slides. It just doesn't click and register for me. I know some people who can just read the slides a couple of times and get the A or do well, but I can't. I need all the extra stuff to succeed. So what I do is I will see how this is set up. He just has... Um, the he has the objectives and then some key points and then a little bit of um, pathophysiology and then we get into the the drugs so what i do is i go under file then i go under export and then i go under file format and change it to rich text format then export what I do is go into right here, open it up, and then I copy. So Command C on the Max. I open up a new document. I paste it. So Command V. I personally like a narrow margin, so I do my last custom setting. So point two, basically all around, and then I highlight, and then I change the. I like Times New Roman. I like 10 font and I like 1.15 spacing and voila here we have it everything typed up and then and then after I would 
split screen and then I would just go ahead and format it. So I would bold this, bold the titles, and then I would um, number these and then I can just delete that because I already have objectives. This is 11, da 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 da. I can even um, put this in two columns. Sometimes I do that and just save space. And then I would bold that. And then the bullets, if I want the bullets to match, I just click on the bullets right here. And then voila, everything is just easy. This saved me so much time. I used to hand type all my notes and it would take hours. But this doesn't even take an hour. So this is what I do and then I print it out and then I take notes on it during lecture. So for example, this is the printed out. You guys can see. And then I don't take notes on the front page of the objectives during class. I, When I study, I answer the questions so I have space to answer the questions. And then see, I highlight what's important during lecture. I I write notes on the side. Stuff like that. There you go. I don't know why it's not focusing. It's just, in my opinion, cleaner and it's just visually pleasing. And I feel like courses like this, you just need to be organized to the T so it can be organized in your brain. Alright guys, so another thing I do is, alright, say after a long day of studying, I don't want to be at my desk anymore, but I still want to review, review and look at material, but I want to lay in bed. So what I do is lay in bed, I'd open up the Word document, and then I will press this thing, the read out loud icon. So I would, I would just press play, and then it'll read the whole thing to me, but... I'll just highlight one and I'll show you guys. Carbamazepine, Tegridol, mechanism of action, same as phenytoin. Delayed recovery of sodium channels equals delayed action potential. Half-life decreases with continued treatment. Stimulates production of drug metabolizer. And then you can also change like the speed if you want it faster. You can also change the um, the voice. So let's do Alex, for example. Half-life decreases with continued treatment. Stimulates production of drug metabolizing enzymes. Asterisk, and then you can also asterisk, skip asterisk, stuff. Monitor drug adverse effects. Oh, I guess I didn't highlight that. Visual disturbances, vertigo, administer at bedtime to reduce effect, medication induce bone marrow suppression, leukopenia, anemia, thrombocytopenia, measles like rash. So like um my professor already records the lectures, but I feel like this is so much faster because for the for the lectures, um it also records like the questions are asked during class and also records during break. So and I think this is just so much faster. You can adjust the, the speed and just skip over parts and it's just easier. And I feel like sometimes I pick up stuff that I like skipped over like reading my paper notes. So I like doing this too. All right, so that's that how I organized before lecture and how I um, take my notes during class and about a week and a half two weeks before the exam what I do is I I write flashcards yes I love flashcards studies have shown if you write you'll remember it better and if you quiz yourself then you um, basically testing yourself basically make sure that you understand the material and you're just not reading off of the 
your, uh, off your notes. You're testing yourself to see if you understand and know the material. So this flashcards I highly recommend. So what I do is I put the drug, I put the drug on the front. Like this is aspirin right here. And then on the back, I color code it. I do mechanism of action, side effects, nursing considerations, therapeutic uses, stuff like that. I have Banco, same thing. Mechanism of action, interactions, adverse effects. Cisplastin, same ordeal. And it's just like helps me like quiz myself. Perceptin. Peter. I like the bigger flashcards because it's a lot of material. Honestly, it does take a lot of time, but in my opinion, it saved me so much time in the long run because studying for the HESI exam, you have everything prepared. Like, you don't have to make new flashcards or write new notes. Like, everything is just here. Alright, so the next thing I do is I like to make drug tables so let me show you what my drug tables look like so this is my psych drug table so what I like to do is I like to have the disease running across and then I uh, have the drug names the mechanism of action class adverse effects and nursing considerations I don't write out everything just what's important um, nursing considerations and adverse effects are definitely, definitely um, something you should focus on for, at least for my exams, my class exams, and also for the NCLEX and HESI. They're mainly more adverse effects and nursing considerations. Yes, there's a few mechanism of, mechanisms of actions, but it's something you should be able to recognize, not necessarily like be able to recite, you know what I mean? Like, I make sure I know how to recite the adverse effects and nursing considerations for each drug because that's what is mainly tested then I have mood stabilizers and I can bold things and yeah my antipsychotics show you another one let's do endocrine uh, pituitary disorders and then the two drugs for it thyroid disorders I have TS TSH stuff, then I have adrenal disorders. I, again, I like everything to be visually pleasing because then it's easier for me to organize in my head and to understand. And I feel like when I'm taking the test, I can visually see my flashcards or visually see my drug, drug charts and it really helps me out. Let me show you one more. Let's do cancer drugs. So cancer drugs were a lot, so I divided them up into cytotoxic agents. So that's two pages. And then the breast cancer drugs, which was just one page I made. And then the prostate cancer drugs. Yeah. And then I would... I would print them out and like highlight and and underline stuff like that I don't know it just like makes everything so much easier for me to study and yeah I make sure I start doing these things um, I make sure I start doing these things a week and a half two weeks before the exam to give myself enough time to actually um, learn the material because yeah like making the drug table and making the flashcards yeah i'm like learning getting like familiar with the drugs but like like i i won't be able to like sit down and learn it after everything's complete so yeah so that's what i do to prepare for my pharmacology class and honestly the more i set myself up for success the more easier it is to study and learn the material because it's honestly so much and my class is a class I had on Fridays and it was a four-hour class it started at 8 a.m. so you can only imagine if 
in the morning everything's just all disorganized and it's just like it's just not a good learning environment for me so I like to have everything organized to the T. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video and how I um, organize myself step by step for pharmacology class and yeah. Video, hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any more videos and leave a comment down below um, saying what other videos you guys want me to show. Um, yeah, so that's it. Alright, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay guys, and by the way, I wore this rainbow t-shirt in um, honor of Pride Month. It is now June, and yeah, happy Pride Month everybody, and have a great rest of your day. I want it, I got it, yeah, I want it.